have you ever woken up and thought, how did I get here? If you have thought about that, this book is for you. And if you've never thought that, keep listening to find out why this book is important and how you can live vicariously through the characters. Hey, this is Kyla Denango and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book Sunburn. It was written by Laura Lipman. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is thriller. So this book is all about how what you see is not what you get. You are reading the book, you're following the story of Polly, and you're like, man, okay, I'm really rooting for her. She bumps into somebody named Adam. You're like, okay, you got a burgeoning love story going on here, great. And then find out, bam, Polly is married. Bam, Polly had a kid that she left. Bam, Adam is investigating Polly. It's a mess. You find yourself rooting for Polly and Adam to be together to, to have this whole thing work out when everything is stacked against them. So I'm reading the book and I find myself cheering for Adam and Polly. I'm like, okay, these two people, they're not perfect. They've got some past, but they can do it. They can, they can push through. Are they even supposed to be together? Do I really want Polly to be with her kid? But not if she's miserable with the husband? And it's a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. But the story was written in such a way that I was like, okay, I could picture these lives, right? Reading this book made me think of you're on a road trip, you're in the car next to people, or maybe you pull over at a gas station or to get food, and you just look in the car of the people next to you and you're like, where are they coming from? What are they about to do? Why are they doing this instead of what they were doing yesterday? Because this book made you realize what you see is not what you get at all. At all, at all. So this book was really important to me because in another life, I was an anthropologist. I love to watch people. I like to study people. I like to go to the mall and just sit and watch people. I'm a people watcher. So what I was saying about watching people at the gas station wasn't to be creepy, but was just to like wonder, just to be curious, just to say, you know, I'm on this road trip because I'm driving to go see my daughter's grandparents. It could be something that minute or it could be anything. It's truly fascinating. So Sunburn was a great read for that. I would not reread the book. The story was twisted. There was a lot of, there were a lot of CD things going on. And um, yeah, I would not, but I would, I always say I'd watch a movie about it. I guess the anthropologist in me wants to see the way another person would enact the movie. <laughs> I want to see your interpretation of it as well. But yeah, so no, I wouldn't reread the book. Probably because it got me daydreaming a little bit too much. I was just like, is this what it seems? Is that what it's, is this my hand? Am I reading this book? It, what you see is not what you get. <laughs> not in the book Sunburn. So if you're still here, thank you for watching the video. Please leave a comment and let me know how you felt about it. And please like this video. That really does help YouTube share these videos with other people who enjoy books, other people who want to hear someone talk about books, and it really will help the channel. So. Until next time, thank you for watching Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.